Welcome aboard the Serena 58. Dan's my name, I'm here with my colleague Rowan, and we're the Australian and New Zealand importers of the Serena brand. We're gonna take you for a bit of a walkthrough. Rowan's gonna do a little bit of the technical stuff. Hope you enjoy. Your main battery uh, isolation is here at the main entrance. So you have your service batteries, engine battery, and engine room light. This is actually a really nice feature to have the engine room light here before you actually have to go into a dark machinery space. But starting up the boat, we turn it all on from here. We go up to the lower helm. Obviously, after doing our pre-departure checks, it's as simple as turning the key, the blowers turn automatically on and then we're going to pretty much just press the, uh, the start button. Now since there is two helm stations you will find you'll have to select which uh, controls you wish to use. At the moment we're down here with the cat uh, throttles. Now we're engaged. It is a very very direct power to the, to the propellers as soon as you put the engine the throttles into forward it engages. A very, very nice response. Maneuvering this boat is one of the biggest dreams. I, I love maneuvering this boat and driving it. Obviously, we've got a side power bow thruster. So between the two engines and the bow thruster, this boat can be put anywhere. There is a really nice little uh, option as well, which we selected on this, which is the joystick drive. Uh, in this day and age, with um, joystick helming, which is becoming quite popular, um, we've decided to put this on, but personally, I think between your two engines and your bow thruster, you're going to have no problems whatsoever. So look, all our controls here are nicely positioned. I'm going to start here and come over this way. This is your main, um, oh, the generator's not turned on, but this is for your air conditioning. So this is your main panel. Everything is the main brain here for your air conditioning. As you move further over, we've got power. This is your control for your Victron inverter. As we move further around, we've got our chain counter, our autopilot, Garmin autopilot. You know, really nice USB uh, plugs right at the helm, plus a cigarette lighter um, for any of those charging needs. This is your main control for your Garmin. Um, but realistically, as you see here, it's all a touch screen. So we don't need to use the control, but it is there um, as part of uh, the Garmin setup. Moving further along, we've obviously got a little uh, compass. Here we have the fire suppression system uh, gauge. Straight above us here, we have a nice spotlight, all controlled from here. Uh, and then as you go down through these panels, we're going from bilge pumps to windshield wipers, to blower fans for the engines, mooring lights, navigation lights, horn, all the way down to even a, uh, a chain wash. So when you want to lift or anchor up, turn on the chain wash and we're going to get all the mud off the chain on the way up. Really, really nice feature. This is actually really cool. So we've got a zip wake system here. So this is the trim tab system that Serena use. It's all automated. Um, it controls the, the pitch and the roll of the boat. A very, very nice feature for this boat. And then obviously finishing off with a VHF radio, nicely positioned here on our starboard side. As we step a little bit further aft, this is what I really like about the Serena boats. A very simple and user-friendly control panel. So this is all split up between your DC and your AC side. So everything from starting your generator to changing over your shore power from shore to end uh, generator. It's a really nice distribution system so you can split the power up for power management um, to all your AC side of things here. So your, your barbecues, your, your, your ovens, cooktops, um, battery chargers, everything's here and it's simple. There's nothing complicated about this boat and that's what I love the most about Serena. So talking about the inverter earlier, it's nicely positioned behind the helm here, easy access, 
Move the cushions out of the way and straight behind this panel, you have a nice 3000 watt Victron inverter. Everything's easily accessible. It's a non-maintenance item, but uh, if you do need to work it, it's right there. So up here on the flybridge helm, it's pretty much a duplicated uh, helm of the lower deck. Once again, following all the way around, you've got your VHF here on the port side, joystick control, engine control, your bow thruster, two main caterpillar displays. Uh, you've got your spotlight, which is just positioned further forward of me. Garmin autopilot, everything's very ergonomically positioned for, for, for use up here. And then over on your panels here, it's exactly the same as downstairs, going from your bilge pumps to your uh, navigation lights, um, your external lights, which is a little bit different than downstairs. Once again, we still have your uh, chain wash. Um, but what is actually quite nice up here is we have this Opac Mari sunroof. So we've got full control from that from up here. The zip wake as well and the autopilot, everything is very ergonomically placed up here. I think one of the nicest uh, features of this Serena is it doesn't matter whether you're downstairs driving or up here, you have complete visibility. I'm very comfortable to park this boat from the downstairs position. I would not say that on many boats, but this one I'd happily say it. The other thing that you can do is up here on the screen, right now I've turned it on, we have a camera position right onto that aft deck. So I can perfectly see down the port side. I can see the port side here. I can see the starboard bow, but to see that starboard quarter, I can see it on the camera. So I'm very comfortable to, to pull out on a starboard side. And as you saw today, we only missed the dock by, by inches and I was watching it all from, from the screen here. Um, a great, great visibility point uh, for this vessel. Welcome inside the Serena 58 engine compartment. A massive, massive space for a vessel of this size. Inside this engine bay, we've got two engines. These are the brand new Caterpillar 8.7, which is 650 horsepower. It's a V-drive position, which uh, provides a lot more space for, for this vessel. Um, the exhaust system is an underwater exhaust, so it really helps with, with the sound, um, making everything a lot quieter when underway and at idle. The engineering side of things with Serena is very, very nice. The uh, sea chests, um, they're very well positioned, easy to access and service. Obviously, that's a, a major thing that needs to be thought about. Further back, we have the main engine uh, batteries. And further back again, we're getting into more through-hull fittings for various other uh, parts within inside this machinery space. Checker plate flooring is a very nice attribute to complement this area. All anodized aluminium. So as we come outboard, both sides we've got two fuel tanks, all centrally balanced through a balance line. There is 3,600 litres in this engine, in this boat, and obviously distributed evenly on either side. Um, Raycore filters, secondary filters, you know, this engine is, uh, engine bay is equipped. Big boat technology in a small boat, which is really, really nice. Um, they're using a, to induct a lot of air. This is obviously going back to these engines. It's a supercharged and turbo powered engine. So, does require a lot of air. The Gianeschi fans does help induct and, and expel the, uh, the hot and cold air, which, which powers this up really nicely to get along at, you know, 23 plus knots. Um, of the engine compartment, we've got the Kohler generator. There is various um, kilowatt options. This is the 18 kilowatt. You can have uh, a smaller one that will go over onto the starboard side. Um, coming through, everything's nicely laid out with and labelled with your fuses. Um, this is your main shore power um, breaker panel, engine charger, which is the Victron. Everything throughout the boat is all Victron. 
um, and then the charger for the gen set. It does have a nice inverter. Um, over to this side, we have our Webasto 73000 BTU uh, air conditioning system. This is a very, very nice uh, system. Um, all under this flooring here is all your, uh, your valves which get you um, water. It's already also pre-plumbed for a, uh, a water maker to slot straight in um, and a gyro. Uh, as we move further back, you're going into your steering, um, which is also quite easily accessible from underneath this flooring. Um, as I said, for a, for a 58 foot boat, when you need to get in and service various parts of this uh, machinery space, it's very easily accessible for even big uh, technicians. On the back deck here, we've got direct access via a watertight door to the crew cabin here. We've got uh, a single bed, we've got toilet, shower, sink, uh, nice cupboard space, uh, natural air ventilation through the opening hatch here. Um, look, as a previous skipper, this is ample space for, for someone to sleep in. But probably here in Australia, we're gonna use it more for storage of, of water toys, dive equipment, fishing gear, um, the naughty kids, whatever you want. It can all go back here, which is, which is a nice complement to the boat for storage. Right on the aft of the vessel here, we have a standard, a hydraulically operated OPAC Mari up and down uh, swim platform or tender lift. As you can see with the beam of this boat, we should be able to house a boat up to four and a half metres, slightly bigger, but it's a really nice feature for, for getting in and out of the water and, uh, and enjoyment of the vessel. Everything's operated nicely here uh, on the starboard side with a straight up and down push button. So. As you see, it will come right up into the complete up position, and then you'll probably hear the dogs engage. On the bow here, we have a nice 1700 watt uh, La France uh, windlass. What is actually very, very cool about this boat, might be a bit difficult to see, but you have a massive, massive anchor well. Down here, you're gonna have no concerns with uh, the chain piling up. It's a very deep space, great place to store your wet fenders, things like that, but a massive, massive storage uh, area up on the bow. The anchor can be operated from here or straight from the helm, uh, either upstairs or down, so multiple options uh, for your anchoring. While we're up here as well, I might get into a bit further into the storage area because there's so much on this boat. Under the bow area here, you'll find we've got another big locker. Whether you want to put ropes, um, covers for the, for the cushions, that's a nice big area. As you'll see a little bit further aft, Currently we have these fenders in here now, but as you see, this is a massive, massive space. Also to starboard, you have the, uh, the duplicate of, of here. So cleaning equipment, water toys, whatever you want, there's, there's really a lot of space for, for everything up here. So the main house batteries are nicely positioned under this floor here at the bottom of the stairs. Easy access, easy to get at entry to. As we come into the VIP forward cabin and into the head here, you'll see they've really smartly used this space here in this cupboard. And back in here, which is quite easy to get into, is your main um, charger for your house batteries. Once again, a Victron charger. And above there is your main DC um, circuit uh, breaker panel. So 
any of your major items is uh, the closest point to the battery is right there so really nicely positioned so up here underneath this bed we've got our bow thruster our side power bow thruster you do have the option of a uh, stern thruster but realistically with the five blade prop that this boat has and the torque you get through um, the controls i don't feel that is a necessary thing but if you do have to access the bow thruster for any reason most common thing is a, a sheared uh, pin uh, through through tangulation of rope or, or debris easily accessed by underneath the bed here very simple uh, change in water to uh, to repair